just how I like it. Good morning. We interrupt your normal daily programming in order to inform you about an outbreak of botulism on campus at Ohio Northern University. This was a bioterrorist attack. Again, this was a bioterrorist attack. The attack happened yesterday by infecting the food supply at Ohio Northern University's McIntosh dining room. The bioterrorist poisoned Max buffet lines during lunch on Wednesday. And since McIntosh uses the same food as they do for lunch as they do for dinner, numerous students were affected by this. We will now go to Libby, who is in the field. So anyway, I was like, what? And he was like, no. And I was like, are you serious? Oh, thanks, Sarah. Libby here on the scene at McIntosh Center at Ohio Northern University, where yesterday an unsuspecting student came to enjoy his lunch. Today, however, that very same student is being treated with what is believed to be Clostridium botulinum, more commonly known as the botulism toxin. Officials have feared such a contamination and are now taking action to be sure no other college campus' securities have been breached. The botulism toxin is most easily spread in large populations through ingestion of contamination, as seen here. However, experts also fear um, the contamination of smaller groups can be targeted for acts of terrorism through contamination of sharp weapons, grenades, or aerosols released in small spaces such as airplanes. Officials also worry about our nation's milk supply. In the Clostridium botulism endospores, they are not killed in the pasteurization process, making them an easy target for terrorist attacks. Back to you, Sarah. Thanks, Libby. The patient was subjected to a series of diagnostic procedures, such as a brain scan and spinal fluid examination. The most direct and useful method of diagnosis is performed by injecting the patient's stool or serum into a mouse and watching it for signs of the botulism toxin. Results of the McIntosh victim's test were positive for the botulism toxin. To help us understand the bacteria, we will now go to Dr. Nate in his research lab. Oh, hello there. Clostridium botulinum is a rod-shaped, gram-positive bacillus bacteria capable of producing a neurotoxin. They are also able to form endospores, which helps it to withstand harsh environmental conditions. Therefore, typ typically, humans are affected by environmental botulism, such as improperly canned foods. However, since the bacteria does not need to necessarily be in the sample, the toxin can also be put into bombs for terror bioterrorist attacks. The enter of the toxin is normally attributed to ingestion of food or inhalation by aerosol means. The toxin enters through the mucosa into the bloodstream, where it is then distributed through the body. It attaches to the peripheral cholinogenic nerve endings, where it prevents acetylcholine from being released into the synapse. Thus, it stops muscles from being able to be contracted. But no worries, this cannot be transferred from person to person. Thank you, Dr. Nate, for your professional opinion. Let us now check on the patient. Immediately upon diagnosis, the patient was treated with antitoxins. Also, he will be kept here in the hospital and put on a mechanical ventilator and started on a parenteral nutrition regimen. We're here in the hospital with the patient who has agreed to give us a statement. How are you feeling? Um, uh, um, I think he said he first started having blurred vision and double vision and vertigo. Later, he's reporting slurred speech, flaccid paralysis, difficulty moving his muscles, <laughs> and difficulty swallowing and dry mouth. Back to you, Sarah. As you can see, bioterrorist attacks of botulism are a very real event and schools, restaurants, but especially food suppliers, should be cautious while purifying and properly storing food supplies in secure locations. The milk industry should be especially weary since the normal pasteurization process does not destroy the endospores. Routine food supply assessments should be conducted on a regular basis. A vaccine for A, B, 
C, D, and E botulism is available to high-risk patients and antitoxins are also available to combat the toxin. However, these reserves will be quickly depleted. It was a good thing that Ohio Northern University is a small campus because only about 1,200 people were affected. But botulism terrorist routes are difficult to predict or assess, so proper intelligence may clue to possible attacks. Watch out, Ohio State University. You could be next. We will now return you to your normal programming.